Hello, today we're exploring the question of death. Not a very pleasant topic, but something I think is so important for us to get our heads around because it can cause us great anxiety at times. Often late at night you're wondering, what would happen if I, I don't wake up tomorrow? And I went to a funeral recently and it's that, that situation where you're reflecting on the person's life but you realize you're never going to see them again. It's just an empty, sad feeling. And often you walk away with many unanswered questions. And uh, a surprise death, I guess, of a celebrity this week was Shane Warne, 52 years old. Fellow cricketer Ricky Ponting said he still can't believe Warne is gone. Death, it shakes us when it happens. And when we're dealing with health problems or uncertainties in life, these questions can feel more real. I hope by the end of this, though, you'll have a more hopeful outlook on death and a clearer picture. Because I think there's many misconceptions about death and what happens after we die. And sometimes these misunderstandings can make it very difficult to believe that there is any hope for people, for life for reuniting after we die. So I'm going to try and address those misunderstandings today and we're going to look at what the Bible actually says about this. Why there is hope, tangible hope for life after death and what exactly that looks like. So let's look at this right now. Tell me this. Since we preach that Christ, that's Jesus, rose from the dead, why are some of you saying there will be no resurrection from the dead? For if there is no resurrection from the dead, then Christ has not been raised either. There's the key. And if Christ has not been raised, then all our preaching is useless. And your faith is useless. And we apostles would all be lying about God, for we have said that God raised Christ from the grave. These apostles, these are people that witnessed Jesus coming back to life. People that knew Jesus. That can't be true if there is no resurrection from the dead. And if there's no resurrection of the dead, then Christ has not been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, then your faith is useless. And you're all guilty of your sins. In that case, all who have died believing in Christ are lost. And now there are and many millions of people, billions of people throughout history have died believing that there is a hope after this life. If their hope isn't true, then this is saying they're all lost. And if our hope is in Christ only for this life, we are to be more pitied than anyone in the world. But in fact, Christ has been raised from the dead. He is the first of a great harvest of all who have died. So you see, just as death came into the world through a man, now the resurrection from the dead has begun through another man, just as everyone dies because we all belong to Adam. Everyone who belongs to Christ will be given new life. It's saying that because these first apostles saw Jesus die and then appeared to, him, to them a matter of days later, because this has happened, it gives rise to the hope that there is the possibility of being raised again to life. But that might still sound very unlikely because we see somebody cremated, their bodies are turned to ash. Someone is buried, their body deteriorates. How could it possibly be that, that everyday people could be raised back to life? Now, let's look at that right now. Someone may ask, how will the dead be raised? What kind of bodies will they have? What a foolish question. When you put a seed into the ground, it doesn't grow into a plant unless it dies first. And what you put in the ground is not the plant that will grow, but only a bare seed of wheat or whatever you're planting. Then God gives it the new body he wants it to have. A different plant grows from each kind of seed. In the same way with the resurrection of the dead, our earthly bodies are planted in the ground when we die but they will be raised to live forever. Our bodies are buried in brokenness, but they will be raised in glory. They are buried in weakness, 
but they'll be raised in strength. They are buried as natural human bodies, but they'll be raised as spiritual bodies. For just as there are natural bodies, there are also spiritual bodies. The scripture tells us the first man, Adam, became a living person. But the last Adam, that is Christ, is a life-giving spirit. What comes first is the natural body, then the spiritual body comes later. Adam, the first man, was made from the dust of the earth, while Christ, the second man, came from heaven. Earthly people are like the earthly man, and heavenly people are like the heavenly man. Just as we are now like the earthly man, we will someday be like the heavenly man. What I am saying, dear brothers and sisters, is that our physical bodies cannot inherit the kingdom of God. These dying bodies cannot inherit what will last forever. Our very lives are a miracle. If you think about the way that you came to be, that seems unlikely. Think about your existence before that. You know, the fact that we are here, the fact that we're communicating, that's a miracle in itself. Is it such a great step to believe that there are also spiritual bodies? There's a spiritual life that is outside our physical reality. And Jesus is the picture of, of that for us. Jesus is God come to earth as a human, human being like us to show us that different reality, that spiritual reality. And that's the hope that Christians have. And I think it's something that everyone should take some time to explore. And I think the best way to look at questions like this is not just looking at videos on the internet, but to get with other people, to talk about it in a community. And if that is something that you're interested in, we have online communities available. If you don't have anything uh, closer to home near you, um, or you don't feel like you want to go to a church, why not start here online? in a message group, in a video call. But I think it's something that I encourage you to look into more because don't live with, with those feelings of anxiety or that suppressed fear of dying when there is peace available. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.